Hello everyone and welcome once again to the channel and in this video we'll be talking about how we can build this blog application in Django using a Postgres SQL database and uh, the development environment we are going to be using is PyCharm. So let's get started. So this is just going to be the first video that is going to demonstrate the project that we're going to be building and in the following videos I'll show you how we can build this project from scratch. So we'll be uh, exploring, uh, we'll be understanding Django from the very basics, building features of this project one by one, we'll be working with Django views and models and whatnot. So we'll be adding and uh, how we learn how to interact with databases, we'll learn how to render content and much more. So let's get started and explore what uh, this project is about. So. Uh, so yeah, so this project is a mini sort of a mini blog project that uh, so there is no authentication, there is no registration. But before you move on to the more advanced blogging project, this project will teach you a lot of the core features that are very important to the blog. So as you can see, this blog includes uh, a title, a nice section to the right over here, and we can see all the blogs that have been posted. And uh, this is just the home. I've set the home page as such that it displays only the first three blog posts. So if you go on to the next, if you click on next, it shows you two more. So this says, this is my blog. I've written only five posts so far. So this one, two, three, and two more over here. So that's five. And uh, we can see that after, if there are more than three blog posts, it moves on to the next page. So we have added pagination on this blog. So that's really cool. And we'll see how we can build that. And uh, they, uh, this blog also includes features where of tags so that we can appropriately categorize the blogs into groups so that we understand what blog so that the blog post is related to what topic. So if this blog post is about the top backend web development frameworks in 2021, then uh, this the tags that are associated with this blog are coding and programming. So if we were to click on any of these tags, we can see posts tagged with coding. So all the posts that are related to coding, all the tag, all the uh, yeah, all the posts that are related to tagging will be displayed here. So that's not just three posts. There are two. There is one more. Yeah. So and we can go ahead and see another tag and we can see another tag here. If you go back to home, we can see tech news. So tech news is another tag. So this Amazon AWS as Microsoft Azure post. If you click here, we can see there's only one post tagged with tech news and this is the content. So let's go look at a blog post in more detail. So if you look at the blog post here, it, the title is displayed. It's also says published published with the date, the time and the name of the author. And then we have the blog post content. And then under that, there is this link that we can click on that says gives us an option to share this post via email. So if you click on it, it displays a simple form where we just have to enter the information, which is name, email to and the comment that we want to include with the blog post itself. So once we enter this, we can click on send email and the email will be sent successfully. Then we can, uh, then this blog also displays similar po the posts, other blog posts that are similar to this uh, post. So uh, as you remember, we had tagged this post with uh, coding and programming. So and other posts that have been tagged with the same tag, which is coding and programming have been displayed here. So that's data structures and algorithms, popular front end frameworks for web development and top five languages to learn in 2021. And uh, there's also a comment section built into this project. So there are zero comments currently and we can add a new content. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, yeah, and just another thing is that this section on the right here displays the latest added posts and displays the most commented posts as well. So if we were to go to this post, we can see that two comments have been added. So this is the post that's the most popular one since it's been commented on the more number of times. So if you click on the, uh, and then we can click on this one, the second one, there's only one comment and the rest of the posts, which is data structures and algorithms has zero comments. AW, Amazon AWS has zero comments and this has zero comments as well. So let's add uh, a comment here. We can just say, uh, we can just put any name, for example, Ajay. And we can just write Ajay at gmail.com. And uh, the comment could just say informative post. So once we do that, we can click on add comment. And once you've added the comment, it says one comment. Your comment has been added and we can see the comment here. It says informative post. Yeah, so once you have done that, we can see that this post has moved above the rest since it is since it's been commented on once. 
we can do that we can post again and uh, we can add another comment and see how uh, how this post can move up th so the more comments that are added the most popular one will be displayed on top here so once we've done that we can go back to home and uh, yeah we now next we can see how we can add another uh, blog post right so that is done using the something known as the django administration website so for example if i am the owner of this blog then i can go to the so django provides like an administration website from where you can manage all your models all your database models your users your groups etc so if i go to admin and if uh, then uh, you can see that uh, uh, under my blog app under the under the blog project under, and inside my blog app i can see that there are two database models one's comment and one is post so if i go to post i can see all the posts that have been added into my project so if i were to click on here at post here to the right we i can see, you can see that i can add another post so let's go ahead and add another post i can go here and um, i can uh, open another firefox window and uh, i have this um, uh, article from wikipedia open so if i copy this and uh, if i paste it here and i can just say the author i can select the author as myself and i can add the body of the blog post from here so i can just click select this and yeah so published and the tags we can include are programming and coding well uh, i think we should keep this one as tech news yeah tech news yes that's right tech news and uh, we click on save and yeah this post has been added so if we were to go back to our uh, blog project and see that uh, we can see that this post has been added list of largest technology companies by revenue with this tag so if you were to click on this tag we can see another post that is selected that has the same tag so that's pretty great and wh when we click on this we can see the uh, when it was published and then we can see the the blog content and similar options that we've explored explored before so yeah so this is pretty much the project yeah and uh, it's sort of a mini blog project but it will teach you a lot on how you can use uh, and it will truly help you understand the django model view template architecture how we how models is the part that interacts with the database how views are used how templates are rendered etc so thank you so much for watching and uh, Please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, it really motivates me to put more content and once again thank you for watching.